누구나 홈페이지는 필요하죠. 직접 만들어 보면 어떨까요? 누구나 윅스로 전문적인 홈페이지를 제작할 수 있습니다. 수백 개 템플릿 중 하나를 선택하세요. 작은 비즈니스 운영자든 예술가든 꼭 맞는 템플릿을 찾아보세요. 드래그 앤 드롭 방식의 편리함으로 손쉽게 내가 원하는 홈페이지를 제작합니다. 텍스트를 변경하고 배경 이미지나 내 이미지를 업로드할 수 있습니다. 또 세련된 갤러리를 추가하는 것도 간단합니다. 온라인 쇼핑몰 제작도 잠깐이면 되겠죠? 클릭 몇 번이면 내 홈페이지가 내가 좋아하는 소셜미디어 채널과 연결됩니다. 구글 지도, 연락처 양식 등 다양한 인기 웹앱 서비스도 추가하세요. 이렇게 뚝딱! 언제 어디서나 최고의 경험을 제공하는 나만의 멋진 홈페이지가 완성됐습니다. 나만의 멋진 홈페이지 지금 시작하세요. 이보다 쉬울 수 없습니다. 즈 s what's new in Unity 2017.3. As of recording this video, it's still in public beta, but I expect it to be out sometime in December. All right, let's see what it has to offer. The first feature worth mentioning is the panoramic 2D and 3D video. This allows for playback of full 360 degree video onto the scene skybox. Especially cool for all of the VR enthusiasts. In 2017.3, Unity is also introducing a new transform tool. The new tool combines the functionality of the standard transform controls. This means that you can easily move rotate and scale game objects using the same tool. Personally, I've been using the keyboard shortcuts for quite a while now, but I think the new tool could be really nice for beginners. With the new version, we're also seeing the introduction of assembly definition files. This might sound really scary, but it's actually a really cool feature for anyone working on a larger game project. You see, normally Unity automatically defines how scripts compile to managed assemblies. This means that code in your scripts gets outputted to files defined by Unity. Typically, as you add more scripts, it will take longer for the editor to compile these files. This can lead to annoying wait times as your project gets bigger. Now however, you can define your own managed assemblies. This means that you can choose which scripts compile to what file. This way only the required assemblies are rebuilt when making changes to a script. And this can greatly reduce the amount of time you need to wait for compilation. As always, with the new update comes some nice improvements to the particle system. The velocity over lifetime module now contains a new setting, which modifies the speed of the particles over time. This makes it much easier to control particle speeds without affecting their direction. On top of that, you can now also create ribbonized particle trails using the particle system. This allows particles to be connected based on their age instead of each particle leaving a trail behind it. This is cool because we can now add effects between the different particles. But the biggest change to the particle system is probably probably the brand new standard particle shaders. Unity is releasing two standard shaders for use with particles, surface and unlit. These shaders provide all the core particle functionality that you would expect, but using an interface similar to the existing standard shader. This makes it easy to configure stuff like blend modes, alpha thresholds, soft particle settings and so on. And finally, we're seeing some nice changes to the particle editor. This includes the ability to preview other looping effects. 